Welcome to Cyprian Jason's French Lessons. Today you will learn more about common French greetings, starting with the conversation between Jack and Marie. Jack, bonsoir Marie. Marie, tu t'appelles comment? Tu t'appelles comment means what's your name? That's when you meet someone, maybe uh, you've seen the person before, but you do not know the name of the person. Now, for someone that is not familiar to you, um, what I'm going to say now is formal. You will say, Comment vous appelez-vous? Comment vous appelez-vous? It means the same as, What's your name? The first one is, Tu t'appelles comment? That's uh, your age mate, your playmate, um, somebody you've seen before, familiar of the same age, or a superior talking, a teacher, for example, talking to a student. Now, we'll say, tu t'appelles comment? Now, if the teacher, for example, is talking to the headmaster or the principal of the school that has just arrived in that school, will ask this question. Comment vous appelez-vous, monsieur? Okay, comment vous appelez-vous, monsieur? That is, what's your name, sir? The conversation continues. Jack answers, Je m'appelle Jack. Je m'appelle Jack. My name is Jack. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. So, you can add your name instead of Jack. For example, you can say, Je m'appelle Michel. Je m'appelle Michel. Je m'appelle Demola. Je m'appelle Nahima. So you can just add your name after you've um, pronounced Je m'appelle. That's my name is this. Je m'appelle Jack. If I should continue, if, if I continue with the conversation, okay. Now, Mary said, Ah, we oui. quite enough, Jack. What's up? What's up, Jack? Quite enough. Now, this is used most often when you meet people, you are excited, you see how Mary uh, was excited, and then in, in their conversation. Uh, she just um, shouted, Ah, we oui. Quad enough, Jack. What's up, Jack? What's up? Jack replies, Pas grand chose. Not much. Not big deal. Not big thing. But it's not a big deal. Pas grand chose. Pas grand chose. Pas grand chose. That's what, that was the reply of uh, Jack. And then he says, Au revoir. Now, I, in my first lesson, I um, pinpointed on this uh, uh, pronunciation, I mean the way to say au revoir. There are two ways to say bye-bye. That's uh, the older generation, like I said in my first lesson, if you haven't gone to that lesson, please start from there. Um, they... Uh, use au revoir. Many people in France use au revoir and again in French West African countries. But the people in France that uh, are still using au revoir are the older generations. So you can find them from, uh, I can say, from 50 to above. Or in the bourgeoisie that uh, want to maintain the um, high class French, you know, so they maintain to uh, they maintain uh, au revoir. But when you go to Paris, what you hear is au revoir, au revoir. So do not be confused or say that it's uh, not correct. That is the way the language is um, moving, you know, that's evolution in the language. So Jack in this case said au revoir. But Jack is young, so I can say that Jack, in his spirit, or the way he's going to say goodbye to Mary, will be au revoir, Mary, au revoir. And then he said something again, à demain, à demain, 
That is, see you tomorrow. Adma, see you tomorrow. Au revoir, Adma. They add the two together. Or at times they can say au revoir, or you say au revoir. And then if you are going to see tomorrow, you say Adma. Okay, Adma. And, and that's it. Let's see tomorrow. And then Marie answered, à la prochaine, Jack. See you next time. À la prochaine. Or something like, see you. Okay, à la prochaine, Jack. But normally, uh, you might not mention the name of the person. Uh, this is, uh, in this conversation, this um, this scenario shows that that was the first time they were meeting. So in this case, uh, the uh, Mary mentioned the name of uh, Jack. À la prochaine, Jack. And then in your own conversation, anywhere you are, you can say à la prochaine. See you. Okay, now let me go back to the conversation and now um, uh, repeat the conversation. I'm going to repeat the conversation without giving you the translations. Okay, so les salutations, greetings, okay? Les salutations entre Jacques et Marie. Jacques entre is between Jack and Mary. Okay, I repeat. I start from beginning. Les salutations entre Jack et Mary. Jack, bonsoir Mary. Mary, tu t'appelles comment? Jack, je m'appelle Jack. Mary, ah oui. Quoi de neuf, Jack? Jack, pas grand chose. Au revoir. À demain, Marie. Marie, à la prochaine, Jacques. À la prochaine.